Hi! I don't really know how to start this. But here's a little one tour haul for you, in case anyone cares. I think I got some cool shit. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna start with some jeans I got. The first two are from Tiger Mist. Um, the first one I got, and I got both in a size small. I'm five six and a half, five seven. If that helps, and I'm usually a size small or 26, 25. Um, this this pair has like this cool little like utility thing. I forgot what it's called. What I like about this is I thought the pockets were cool because they're kind of square. They come off high waisted. Um, and the bottoms kind of have a thick hem, which I like. Um, I actually got a lot of jeans with a really thick hem at the bottom, which I didn't have before. Kind of random. Yeah, these fit really nice. Um, true to size, I would say. And I really like the wash of them as well. So yeah. Again, Tiger Mist, also a size small. And again, I would say it fits true to size. And these are more a slightly darker wash and almost like a little more like textured of a wash. Um, again, high waisted. And they have on one leg a rip on like the thigh and then like the like, shin. And then on the other leg. Like one right above the knee and right below. Um, I normally don't wear distressed jeans. I really didn't like them for a while. I like this pair though, but I'm kind of picky about it. So yeah, these are them. Christmas. Um, I don't know if they still have these. These are from Gap, which is really random. I don't know how I found them, but I guess I told my mom I liked them. I don't really remember, but I guess I sent her the link to them because that's what she claims. But I really like, they're like high-waisted and again, really pretty wash. I like the details in the front, like the stitching. Very 70s, a little retro. And they have the same kind of stitching on the back pockets. Um, and the seam right here, I think it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, they have a big, even bigger than the last pair, like hem at the bottom, which again, is, I think is really cool. I've been seeing this a lot on jeans. So yeah, pretty sick. The only thing I would say I don't like about these jeans is the button. This is so picky, but I don't like the button. It's kind of a rose gold color because I wear all silver jewelry and it bothers me a little. That's literally it. <laughs> um, and I got these. Mm, I don't know what size. Size 2 slash 26. I think they're safe. Then the next pair I got for Christmas, I ordered these. These take a long time to come, so. Uh, it's from Revice Denim, which I I heard they make them to order, like you order them, then they make them, which is super cool and sustainable, so we love it. But that does mean it takes like a little over a month to come, but it's okay. And I believe they're made in LA. It says designed in LA. I don't know where they're made, 
but I live in California so it might take longer if you live somewhere else I don't know um, but these again have the same like wide hem at the bottom these are honestly my favorite pair but I need to get them hemmed because they're super long but they have this cool like American flag all of their jeans I believe have this little detail on the back and this pair has a star on the butt you can show that and the bottom two points run all the way down the back of your leg which I think is super sick um, and I don't have anything this light of a wash so I really love these um, yeah and these also I would recommend sizing up in I got a 27 because my sister and her friend say to size up so I did and they fit I honestly could have gone a size down if I because on the model they were a little bit tighter but I'm honestly glad that they were loose because they're still tight on my waist but looser in the legs which I think is more of a style that I personally like and I already have the gap jeans that are a little tighter on the legs and I think it's Morgan right now so yeah I would say size up Not wintry at all, but I do live in California, so that's okay. Um, but it's a skirt from Princess Polly that my sister actually ordered and then didn't like, so I took it. Um, it's not something I would pick out for myself, but she had it, and I tried it on, and I actually really liked it. The pattern is really cute, and it's like silky. I'm sure it's not real silk, because it's from Princess Polly. And it's a size four. Yeah, very cute, little mini skirt. And the next thing I got is from, is off ASOS, but it's And Other Stories. And it's these black like dress pants, but they are like high-waisted and then flare at the bottom, but then have a slit in the front, which again, I've seen the first time I saw it was Hailey Bieber wore a pair and it was so sick um but yeah super in right now the side slit or the front slit and yeah they have really cute pockets in the back with seams down the back of your leg which I think is really flattering and seams down the front and it's just a side zipper so very flattering stuff that I ordered off ASOS. Um, I got these brown pleather pants which I love and they're for, like they're off ASOS but the brand is misguided and they got them in a size 4 and they what I like about them is they have this cool detail on like the mid thigh and they have like a seam that goes across and then at the bottom they're like cut off, which I think is really sick. Um, but yeah, these are a little bit loose, but I kind of like that look, so it's fine. I can always belt it if I need to. And it's a really pretty, like, I don't know if it's showing up, but it's kind of like a reddish brown. It's really sick. So yeah, I think this would look super sick with like a big sweatshirt in winter. is again brown pants but these are more of like a brown like dark brown kind of almost gray looking color and they have a little bit of texture which I like and these are size four but they fit more like a size two so I would definitely if you're between two sizes go up one um 
but I really love the belt detail on this and it reminds me of something like Bella Hadid would wear I don't know why but and I really like the like it's on a seam but like a dart I guess or I don't know I don't know this little detail going down the front of the leg I think is really cute these are super high-waisted like I have a fairly shorter torso and they come up very high on me um, but they're really cute and they're just wide leg is somewhat questionable I thought it was gonna be smaller I probably should have sized down it's the brand collision and it's this like massive <laughs> white button down I honestly would wear this like a dress with biker shorts underneath and either my docks or my loafers or honestly even like some dad sneakers like in spring or summer to run. honestly in summer this would be great if it was really hot if you wore like a little something underneath and little biker shorts this would be really comfy yeah maybe also with a um sweater vest i'm a big sweater vest gal myself um but yeah it's really big but i think i can do something cool with it from the thrift store and it's not everyone's cup of tea but it's mine so I got it um I love the color green and I thought the pattern was kind of sick because it's different on like the sleeves in the back than it is on the front and it's like a bigger pattern on the front it almost looks like flowers I don't know I figured it's only like five bucks and worst case scenario I'll just wear like the collar out under like sweaters and sweatshirts but I think it'd be cute over a bathing suit in summer be cute or just like over a little tank and some jeans but yeah and it's um Ellen Tracy which my mom said is like a nicer brand so that's sick and it's 97% silk so I got for five bucks so not bad so the next thing I got is from Christmas my mommy got me a little set active set that the only complaint I have about this set is <laughs> so the front there's no like seam like I can't even remember if leggings have a seam there I don't think they do I don't know it's like they're very like seamless the only seam is like right in the leg area and it's very tight and the material is like different than my other leggings and it's also ribbed on the sides, which is super flattering on your butt. So, we love it. But the only thing is that the front and certain lighting, because it's so tight, it's not camel toe. It's just very tight everywhere. So, be aware of that. Um, but if you got in a black, I feel like it would be a lot less noticeable. I really like this color. I believe it's called Slate. Um, it's a little wrinkled because I already worked out in it. A little bit gross, but whatever. I haven't washed them yet. <laughs> but yeah, honestly, my favorite workout set that I've ever had. Um, love it. And then the top my mom got me, I was a little bit worried about because my boobs aren't big, but they're also not small. And I was worried this wouldn't be supportive, but it actually really is because I have a sports bra like this. 
where it's small it's tighter like here to be supportive but it's almost like too tight on my ribs that it's hard to breathe <laughs> but this is actually a really nice balance of not too tight but also supportive and i really like the open back i think it's really pretty um i would honestly wear this with jeans if i just like wasn't feeling it and running errands or something it looks kind of like a free people top i've seen it's really cute though I love the color and I got everything in this small. <laughs> out in winter i love working out in biker shorts but um it's too cold when i'm in colorado in winter to work out in biker shorts so leggings it is um but again it has the like, ribbed on the sides and it like kind of arches into the butt in the front which is really cute um same thing with being tight but it's really flattering and cute so i don't really care not real leather but that's okay it's which fun fact my brother told me that apparently fake fur and fake leather is actually worse in the environment than the real stuff but i thrifted it so it's okay <laughs> um but um it has like a blazery cut to it it has this seam down the front which is really flattering it has like a breast pocket over here and just like three buttons going down it's i think it's pretty sick so yeah little collar i've seen like um bella hadid wears this cut of jacket a lot and once again just a little style icon so i love it yeah no idea if it's real or not but i really like the details of the like big like plaque or whatever that says guess with the little question mark guess usa and it's bedazzled which i think is such a cute detail and it just has like the logo on the back and the strap and like leather on the inside um but yeah i just got this from a goodwill while i was home so yeah, and it has like this cool leather detail on the side that I like. So yeah, for Christmas, my mom got me this coach bag that I'm really excited about because I love the red. And I also love the silver hardware because I have a similar one in black that has gold hardware that I bought myself. And I love it and use it all the time. But the gold just... I wear all silver and so I like that this one has silver so yes um and I love the size and the coach outlet has really cute bags on sale for a good price so I recommend checking that out so I think this one retails for like 350 or something maybe 400 and I believe when I sent it to my mom it was on sale for like 90 so yeah really cute bag Christmas got me this little bucket hat in purple which I don't like pick out purple for myself but I really like the lavender shade 
very cute. My nails were lavender, but I took them off, so, oops. Um, it was just from Urban. We're gonna be cute in summer at the beach or the lake. sit down portion for these loafers but I got them from Vagabond they're a little pricey but they're really well made and I think they go with a lot so yeah I think they're worth it they're really cute and then the last little items I have are some new rings I got so for Christmas my grandparents got me this ring from Anna Luisa um I think it was Ruby Lynn who has it and I was like that's sick and so I asked for it for Christmas I really like the black it goes with literally everything the only thing is I'm wear my jewelry like I don't take it off for the shower or anything like that and I'm not like gentle with it because I just wear it all the time I like putting on rings and just that's it like that's the only jewelry I wear and so I did scuff the side a teeny bit, but I figure once that side gets really scuffed up, I'll just flip it around and wear the other side out. But yeah, so that. And then I bought myself this ring. It's called the 69 ring, which I didn't understand because it looks like a dice to me. But on the inside, it has a little 69. And so when you take it off, it leaves a little 69 on your finger where it was and I think that's sick as fuck so and it's just a cute little pinky ring and so this one was from Anna Luisa I think it was about $80 but I believe it's sterling silver and it's very like feels very like heavy duty and nice and I really like it and this one was from Rachel G Jewelry she's a small business out of New York and I love everything on her website so really love this i ordered some other stuff from her really cool stuff um yeah that's all i have so if anyone ever watches this i hope you enjoyed it and yeah maybe i'll post another who knows we'll see bye